Hey everybody, this is Tony with White Hat Holsters. Uh, today we're going to go through a couple different holster types for you and help you evaluate and think through which type of holster might be right for you. There are many different types of holsters, so we're just going to kind of cover the basic, most common ones that are used inside the waistband holsters, outside the waistband, uh, pocket holsters. We're going to look at um, uh, why you should use a holster and talk a little bit about those that carry what they call Mexican carry style with no holster at all and of course we're going to look at hybrid holsters. Uh, with those uh, four basic types we're going to evaluate them on comfort, uh, the different materials that they might use and of course the function of those type of holsters. Uh, first let's talk real quick about people that carry weapons without a holster, typically in the waistband. Whenever you're carrying a gun for defensive purposes, in my opinion, it's a good idea to carry with a round in the chamber. Uh, as a general rule, you hear people say, you know, in an immediate defensive situation with a handgun, you have about one second to draw, present, and fire your weapon. If it takes much longer than that, um, unless you're in a situation where someone's you know coming toward you from a distance or something it's not so urgent but in an urgent uh... defensive situation with a handgun you need to be able to draw very quickly so we're gonna think about it along those lines also we're looking at these holsters thinking um, thinking about concealed carry options on your person if you live in a in an open carry state or an open carry area obviously an outside the waistband holster is probably what you're gonna use most of the time uh... so we're thinking about concealed carry on your body, not in your car, in your in your briefcase, on your, in your purse, or something like that. But you should still have a, a basic holster uh, to 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 uh, prevent misfires, even even off your off your body. Uh, so so let's let's talk real quick about people that carry without a holster. Uh, quick anecdote: uh, This was sent to me uh, in an email. It's a story about a, a Florida man who. Um, uh, it's kind of funny, but it's not. The title of the story is man shoots himself uh, in the penis with his girlfriend's pink handgun that is the story title so the man's carrying in the waistband without a holster and has a misfire while he's adjusting the gun uh, in in his waistband to make it worse it's a, a pink handgun so that that uh, uh, kind of rubs some salt in the wound uh, so <laughs> tragic situation he survived, uh, you know, went through a lot of pain, but um, always carry your weapon in a holster. That's just kind of common sense. You, you know, it said in there that police, police urge everyone to carry a weapon in a holster. This is in Florida, so they have concealed carry there. Uh, don't carry your weapon without a holster. It's just not a good idea in my opinion. Do what you want to do. I wouldn't do it. So let's take a look at the different holster types we're going to look at, and then, uh, and then we'll get into it. All right, so quick safety check for you here, and a, and a quick note about concealed carry handguns. There's so many different type of guns that you can carry. We're going to look at the Ruger LCP, which is a common, you know, uh, small subcompact style um, concealed carry weapon in, in 380. And then we're going to look at a full size 1911 to kind of give you um, concealed carry options for both. Okay, so but quick safety check: empty magazines, empty guns. All right, nothing in them. So let's get to it. Uh, the first one we're going to look at here is an outside the waistband holster. This is a basic outside the waistband holster from Blackhawk. There's not any kind of review, just kind of showing you uh, what they look like. Now these can be made of uh, uh, many different types of materials. They can be all leather. Uh, they can be a sort of fabric like this one is. It's like a reinforced fabric holster. Um, they can be all Kydex holsters that uh, uh, attach with like a paddle device, uh, just sort of slip on. They can have clips. They can have uh, little lanyards or, or loops for, for your belt to, to slip through like this one does. So the belt just kind of goes through here and this stays on your, on your hip. This one also has uh, kind of a thumb brake, if you will, um, that goes all the way across. Uh, some do, some don't. Some have other retention devices. Uh, and we're also going to kind of look at uh, retention as part of function on these. So retention obviously real good with this type of holster that has a, a strap over it, of course. Um, for comfort, uh, these style holsters are very comfortable, probably the most comfortable. Um, uh, as with all holsters, a good gun belt is, is going to be critical to the level of comfort that you get. So you want the gun belt to support most of the weight of your handgun. Okay, you, you don't really want to put that weight... Um, 
right on the holster, especially for in the waistband. You know, it'll just pull your pants down, pull your pants down, like uh, uh, some people say. So uh, that you, you really want to get a good uh, good gun belt. It makes a tremendous difference for comfort for all these. So let's look at this with the uh, with the 1911 in it. All right. Oop. All right. So. This will fit most full-size handguns in this in this holster. It's kind of a one-size-fits-all. These are very economical um, holsters for the most part. Uh, you kind of have to live in an open carry state because <clears throat> when we talk about function, <clears throat> um, excuse me, this type of holster just doesn't conceal real well. We'll look at that in just a minute. But uh, so this is basically how you would utilize this. <clears throat> Snap that on there. <clears throat> All right, so that that strap will keep it good and in place, and uh, uh, we'll take a look at how it is on. But uh, uh, function, you can you can draw pretty quickly. It's just not the most concealed option. Um, let, let's take a look at what that looks like uh, wearing it. Okay, so first let's take a look at the uh, uh, outside the waistband holster. Again, very comfortable. Uh, but as you can see, I'm wearing it right here about three o'clock. Not the most uh, concealed holster. Of course my gun's a little long, you know, it's another consideration. With an outside the waistband holster you really need a concealment garment if you're wearing it concealed. Open carry doesn't really matter, but if you're trying to conceal it with an outside the waistband holster you need a vest or a jacket or a longer shirt or something hard to do with a full size gun. Uh, this one having the thumb brake like this, and it's very comfortable other than, uh, you know, the, um, the, the weight of it, you don't really feel it at all. Now, one consideration you can see this one. You know, it's it's just not terribly tight. All of the uh, all of the weight is centered um, in one area, so it's not it's not uh, real. You know, it, it's secure. I mean, it's not going to come off. It's not going to come out. But uh, but you know, it, it it may migrate a little bit. You know, this style holster. Um, they have some that are sliders, some with actual clips on them. This one is sort of a a feed through style um, style holster. So. Uh, but you can see here, you can draw pretty pretty well with this style holster. Uh, Reholstering is not not terribly difficult. <clears throat> thumb brake might get in the way a little bit, but um, otherwise, you know, not not too bad. I mean, a, a good holster, even a a simple slider outside the waistband works really well. Actually, it may work a little better to hold the gun a little closer to your body. So here, I can draw pretty quickly with this holster. Um, the slider types that don't have the thumb brake on them, obviously you can draw very quickly with those. Um, so uh, a, a good type of holster overall doesn't conceal real well. So let's let's uh, you know if I try and and cover it up, I mean you can you can kind of see it there uh, from the side. So sort of give you all around view of that. Um, so that's a consideration for concealed carry. Maybe not the best option. Very comfortable. Very functional. Okay, so the next type of holster we're going to look at here is uh, is what you might call a pocket holster. I'm also going to use this to kind of demonstrate some of the in the waistband holsters uh, as well. Um, a pocket holster like this is typically made out of um, some kind of fabric. Um, they do have some that are made of Kydex, but uh, mostly they're made out of fabric like this or leather. They'll usually be all leather. Sometimes they'll have a tab out here to the side or they'll have like a rubber strip like this. A lot of them will also just have like a complete rubberized sort of coating on the whole thing or like a rubbery material on the outside. The purpose of that is um, so that when, it's, when, it's, uh, when you're wearing it in your pocket and you go to draw it, uh, ideally uh, when you go to draw, the, the holster stays in your pocket and the gun comes out very easily. Again, this is a real basic um, Blackhawk one that, uh, you know, very economical. Um, these type of holsters prevent their own so, uh, present their own sort of challenges, so uh, we'll kind of take a look at that as well. It, it's also not the most comfortable uh, type of holster that you can wear, um, and, and we'll take a look at that too. Uh, uh, so let's let's see what this looks like functionally, and then uh, and then we'll come back. All right, next let's look at the the pocket holster style. So again, this is the uh, mostly made of fabric or leather. Uh, they'll have that leather tab or the rubber strip to help keep it in your pocket when you draw the weapon. A lot of times that leather tab will come out about as far as the as the butt of your gun that you're carrying in it. Um, this one again is just kind of a generic one size fits all. So a pocket holster can go in the front or the back pocket. Uh, just slips in your pocket like that. 
Uh, pretty concealed. I don't know how well you can see that, but it, it you know it, it conceals pretty well. You don't see it too much uh, for a little tiny gun. Uh, if you have anything much bigger than a Ruger LCP or a real subcompact 380 uh, micro 380 or something, it may be difficult. There are some other good concealed carry guns that work well in pocket holsters, uh, the Keltec PF9, etc. So, you know, uh, it's got to be a pretty small gun though. The problem with the pocket holster is um, comfort wise, it's not really the most comfortable. If you have it in your front pocket, um, depending on kind of where your pants sit, it, you know, you can feel it in there. It, it can, it can sort of get in the way if you're bending or, or uh, sitting, um, sitting in the car, that sort of thing. You might, you know, feel a little more. Um, if you put this in your back pocket, alternatively, you can see how that would be l even less comfortable. You, you know, you're not going to want to sit on your gun uh, all the time. So, um, and you know, bending over, you may see it or whatever. So. Uh, pocket holster, not the most comfortable option in my opinion, um, but again, you know, d does its job and may be good for a for a backup gun, a little tiny, you know, uh, uh, micro compact 380, something like that, like the LCP, might work really well for that. The problem with pocket holsters comes in when you start talking about function. Um, if you're in a defensive situation, even if you see somebody coming from a distance, maybe it's not terribly urgent, there's not someone drawn down on you in your face, uh, you got to be able to access your gun pretty quickly. If there's an, an emergency situation, I hear something, I'm going to go and get this out and hopefully it's, you know, the holster stays in um, you know, and, and I can draw my gun and then present it. That takes way too long. Um, if you're in a situation where you're under fire, um, you're going to be bent down. There's, there's no way to get in your pocket to get your holster out. If you're sitting in the car and this is in your front pocket, you're not going to get it out. Uh, so pocket holster, also same thing if it's in your back pocket. If you're bent down or stooped down, this is going to be difficult to retrieve quickly. So maybe good for a backup, not the best thing for a primary carry holster. Um, but, but, you know, does this job most of the time. The other problem, a lot of these that I've tried unless they're rubberized like this, they, they have trouble staying in the pocket. I mean, the worst thing is, and you, you can see there's not much to grab on this. Uh, if I'm in sort of a panic situation, even if I train with this, I can reach in and grab it. It's, my finger's catching it. It's, it's holding the holster on. This is, this is dangerous. You know, you don't want to be like this and then, whoops, you know, now let me shoot you. So, uh, not the best option in my opinion, the pocket holster. Maybe good for a backup, not best for a primary carry weapon, in my opinion. Okay, one more thing with the pocket holsters. Um, a lot of times you'll have in the waistband holsters are very similar to this. The only difference might be a belt clip on one side, uh, usually a metal belt clip that, that clips over, over your belt. So these would go in the waistband, kind of like this. Um, you could even carry a pocket holster like this in the waistband. Um, pretty functional, pretty concealable. This one probably worked pretty well. Doesn't reholster very easily with one hand, but uh, you know that might not be critical for you. But you know, a lot of times you'll see these style holsters for in the waistband carry that have a, a clip over the belt. Um, very concealable this way, not very comfortable this way. Uh, if you're going to be carrying for an extended period of time, comfort is important. So uh, this is not the most comfortable way to carry. Uh, you can really feel the gun in there, and, and again, you've got all the weight distributed kind of in one place. But very concealable, um, these type of, uh, you know, very economical also, these type of in the waistband, sort of one clip, um, slides, you know, slide in sort of fabric holsters like this. You can get these also in all leather, which are a little more comfortable. But again, you've got a lot of the, 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 um, a lot of the slide and a lot of the, the imprint of the gun on the full leather ones where it's molded on both sides, that's going to be pressing right up against you. So depending on where you're wearing it, that might not be a very comfortable uh, option for you. Concealable, functional, sure, as long as it stays where it's supposed to be, uh, as long as it's not migrating or pulling out, as long as the clip is good, it's, there's a lot of factors in there uh, to consider. So really try it out if you can before you, before you spend money on one. But um, you know, that's another way that, that you might consider an in the waistband holster that in this style that just has a clip on it here. So I uh, just kind of want to give you a quick look at that. Okay, finally we have my favorite uh, style holster and my area of expertise here, which is the hybrid 
in the waistband holsters. Um, these are uh, uh, we have a few different different brands to look at, and we'll we'll look at them kind of uh, together. So this is the Max Tuck holster. This is one from Crossbreed. Also have links down in the bottom. Um, in the description for some of our videos where we compare the Max Tuck and the Crossbreed side by side and then we also have a popular one the Galco King Tuck so and, and, and I'll put a link to our comparison video of those as well down there but uh, let's let's talk about hybrid holsters real quick hybrid holsters um, really kind of kind of the best of all worlds in my opinion um, usually consists of like a flat leather backing like this with a kydex pocket or a scabbard attached to the front um, usually comes with some kind of metal clips like these are uh, for the belt our style holsters are tuckable so you can actually tuck a shirt in back here and uh, and wear it over the kydex I'll show you that in a minute as far as comfort this outside of uh, other than outside the waistband holster this is the most comfortable option that you have um, it may even be better than outside the waistband holster because a lot of times the the outside the waistband have you know all all the weight and the clip is centered right right on the gun right here kind of like how this is so all the weight of the gun is going to be right here so it, it's going to have a tendency to want to pull down also this is pretty much going to stay just like this there's no adjustment for it these type of holsters with with all the all the brands we saw are adjustable for ride depth and cant so you can move the clips up or down and adjust how high or low it rides or or at what angle so these are kind of the best options to me you can really adjust it to fit your uh, where you're comfortable drawing and where you're comfortable carrying um, very functional you can reholster with one hand with this type of holster also because this kydex pocket tends to stay open uh, so you can reholster very easily with this so let's take a look at this one we'll kind of walk through the uh, benefits of it all right now we get to my favorite the hybrid style in the waistband holster again hybrid because it's a mix of leather and kydex or, or you know uh, materials um, this type of holster uh, you know I, we talked a little bit about weight distribution for comfort because it has two clips it really helps distribute the weight of the gun much more evenly so you don't feel it pulling down in one spot on your on your pants or your belt. Very comfortable. Um, the flat leather backing over time will start to conform to your body. I'll show you mine that I've been wearing for a while. I know I showed the crossbreed one when you know we did some testing with that. It's, it's, it's a little worn. Uh, I'll show you mine that I've been carrying for about uh, six months now and how, how the leather kind of breaks in. But over time it'll it'll start to conform to your body. This leather will kind of break in and conform to you and becomes even more comfortable over time. It just starts to fit your body like a glove. So because the leather breaks in very evenly and it's it's flat on the back, uh, we we use these um, the the flat leather backings unfinished on the back, so it has a light texture to it. This will keep it from migrating in your pants or moving around uh, while it's while it's in your pants. Um, you know, very comfortable. Uh, this flat leather backing and the low profile hardware on here, you don't even feel the, the screws on this. So very, very comfortable type of holster. As far as function goes, I'm wearing it right now. Uh, so you can see it's very, it's highly concealable. I'm wearing it right here. And because it just keeps it so close to your body, um, you really don't see it at all uh, when you're wearing it. So highly concealable very comfortable we've had many many customers that say they forget they're wearing it they're going to keep checking you know make sure it's still there but you can see kind of how it fits in the waistband okay you have this uh leather tab in the back that keeps the slide off of you this one has sort of a combat cut on it uh we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that but uh you can you can draw very very quickly from from concealment so let's take a look at that um uh, you know you can draw very quickly with this style holster as well nearly as, as uh, quickly as you can with an outside the waistband. You're still going to have some kind of concealment garment over, uh, but, but this way even just a, a regular shirt, as long as it comes to your belt here, is going to, to work really well. Uh, so, you know, very easy to draw quickly from this style holster. Um, the benefit, uh, again, of, of ours and some of the others is that they're actually tuckable. So you can, you can tuck your shirt in uh, between the, the clips and the leather and then between your pants and the kydex, uh, probably better to do this when your pants are a little looser, but you get the idea. You can sort of fit the shirt down in front of the kydex. So even with it tucked in, uh, it's still highly concealed. Um, 
kind of give you a general idea of that. So that's even with it tucked, it's it's very concealed. And then you know you just remove your your shirt and you can draw very easily that way. You can hear that kind of click when you when you draw it. That's the the kydex and then it sort of snaps back in when it goes in. That's that retention I was talking about on the trigger guard that, that kind of keeps it in place there. Um, so great style holster. Let me let me show you this one that I'm wearing so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about with the break in on it. Um, you know, very easy to put on and off. Uh, this this style holster, you know, uh, when it when it starts to break in, you can see kind of how this one is shaped now. So I've been wearing this for quite a while. Uh, this has got the Gonzalez flag on it. This is the horse hide. I'll get a little closer on that. So you can see how this has a, uh, it's, it's, it's smoothed out almost, but it still has a, a little bit of texture to it, enough to keep it in place, keep it from migrating, keep it from pulling out when I, when I draw it. Um, some of these style holsters, if it's too tight and the clips are, are garbage on it and it's you know slick, it, you can pull it out and have the holster stay on it. Uh, I've seen YouTube reviews of the Galco one where that's, that happens. Uh, again, not good. If, if you draw this thing, and uh, and the holster's still on there, but that doesn't do you much good. They're gonna say, "Oh, pretty holster. What are you gonna do with that?" Uh, you know, throw it at them. So, uh, in my opinion, hybrid holster definitely one of the best concealed carry options. Uh, this this style holster will fit just about anyone. No, no one holster is right for everybody. That's kind of the purpose of this video. Explore your options. Do your research. See which one is right for you. We we would recommend the uh, the Max Tuck, of course. Um, uh, we hope you check it out. Uh, two week try a free guarantee. They start under $60. We do have options for customization on them, but the basic black on black models start at, at like 60 bucks. Uh, so very economical option as well. Lifetime warranty, two week try a free guarantee on this. If you don't love it, we don't want you to keep it. So give it a shot. Uh, you'll be glad that you did. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope this video is informative, help give you an idea of what, what to look for when choosing a holster. And uh, be safe. God bless. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them. If you have any questions, please, uh, please PM us or email us at support at whitehatholsters.com or check out our website at whitehatholsters.com as well. Uh, thanks for watching. Be safe. God bless.